What's going on, Thompson's Kennels? I ain't do one of these videos in a long, long time. But this is a rant video. Um, yeah, this is going to be a nasty rant, but I'm going to preference my comments by saying this. I need everybody to do a lot fucking better than what they're doing out here. All right. Um, and I'll preference this by saying this. A lot of y'all in the dog world ain't really in the dog world. Y'all are playing. Y'all ain't for real. But they are pass, they're trying to pass laws against the American Pit Bull Terrier in a lot of southern states as far as they're saying that the um, ASPCA is overwhelmed with pit bulls. We're going to get into that, too. So what they're trying to make it, um, unfortunately, God bless me, I got, I'm in the progress of, I got land, all my dogs are registered, have the correct paperwork, everything's up to date with my dog, so I'm not really concerned, but I'm just looking at it from a view, if I wasn't correct, that they're trying to pass these laws based off of the bully community. And I'm going to tell y'all something about a lot of you bully breeders. And I'm gonna be 100%, 100 like I'm like I'm always is when it comes to these type of things. Y'all are the pinnacle of fucking puppy peddlers. Y'all mass produce these fucking dogs at the highest rate that you can mass produce dogs, and y'all charge these five thousand and thirty five hundred, and you peddle these dogs at such a high rate. Do you guys ever stop and think where your fucking dogs end up at? Do y'all do proper screening? Do y'all make sure these are going into homes that are stable homes with people who have stable jobs, stable living conditions that can have a dog? I don't know what the life expectancy on these dogs is that you guys pedal, but uh, a high caliber of living conditions that can sustain a dog's life from the from the time it's purchased to the time it ends. Y'all get tax money and y'all pedal these dogs and. 90% of your fucking dogs end up in the shelter. Yes, in the shelter. I did a video five years ago, five or six years ago, stop the bullshit. I've been to these shelters. I'm not telling y'all something that I don't fucking know. I'm telling you what I've seen just in my area. When you go into these shelters, they are American bullies in these fucking cages. And I'm not talking about full grown American bullies. I'm talking, hold on, let me lower this radio. I'm talking about litters of puppies, man. Four and five puppies off of litters that are in these shelters, man. You guys got to slow down with the fucking pedaling. Uh, I mean, slow the fuck down. There's no reason any of you guys should be doing seven to ten breedings a year. That is fucking ridiculous. I, I believe in business and I, I believe me, I'm, I'm running a couple and trying to make it myself. I understand business, but at the same time, if you are living off of these dogs and just peddling puppies, stop what the fuck you're doing and reevaluate what you're doing with your life. You get up and get a fucking job, bro. Have something to sustain because what you guys did was you didn't even come up with a breed of dog and represent it in its own light. Y'all hijacked parts of other dogs other breeds names and for years y'all were peddling those dogs under pit bulls and i used to speak to a lot of american pit bull terrier breeders and i'd be like does that shit not bother y'all and then they would always come to me and say well real real dog men and real bulldoggers and stuff know what a real pit bull is let them peddle that that bullshit but that didn't work what has happened now is you can go on the internet is Hundreds, probably thousands of you guys peddling these fucking dogs. Mass quantities of puppies. And you guys have to make videos and do all this shit to peddle these dogs. And they end up in the fucking shelter, man. And then you have the uneducated workers at the ASPCA. And I, some of them hearts are in a good place, but a lot of them people... Excuse the blow. I was just um cleaning my yard and doing my routine. But a lot of these people are uneducated. They don't really know what an American pit bull terrier is. And they don't realize they have a shelter full of American bullies. So now they are trying to pass bills to say that 
Dogs have to be registered and sterilized or proved that they were show dogs. And they're doing this to the American Pit Bull Terrier community. Not you motherfuckers. <laughs> like they haven't put it. That's why I used to get so upset when people used to get on YouTube and talk about a Pit Bull umbrella. Fuck no. There's no such thing as a Pit Bull fucking umbrella. There's an American Pit Bull Terrier and there's everything else. Some of you guys are producing clean dogs and running your business accordingly. More power to you. But the majority of you guys are not. Y'all guys are having fucking daily discussions about pr producing healthy dogs. Do you hear any other groups of breeders having discussions about producing healthy dogs? That is the fucking basic criteria of breeding. Is producing a healthy fucking animal... And then we go to temperament and work ethic. Y'all got the game fucked up, man. And, and I feel sorry for a lot of people who are going to suffer behind y'all negligence, man. Just blatant fucking negligence. And a lot of you guys are breeding dogs without papers. These are basic fucking criterias. I was talking... I forgot who I was talking I think I was talking... Yeah, I was talking to Kendrick the other night. And we were... These are basic fucking criterias. This is not something that somebody's saying is above and beyond. These are basic fucking criterias. A clean, healthy animal. Registered dogs with papers. You guys are charging all this astronomical money and wanting this, but a lot of you guys don't even have fucking papers on these dogs. And like I said, they're shelter bound. A lot of them. And then you took a, another breed's name and hooked it up to him. So now there's a whole misconception across the United States of America with the majority of casual dog enthusiasts of what is an American Pit Bull Terrier. They don't know that what they have in the shelter is an American Pit Bull Terrier. A lot of those shelter dogs, 99% of them are American bullies. Slow y'all fucking roll, man. Stop with the mass production of dogs that you guys really don't know nothing about. I mean, literally, the, the dog world stands back and laughs at y'all. But see, it was all funny when y'all were just fucking up y'all dogs. But now y'all have dragged other breeds into this shit because y'all can't stop fucking breeding dogs, man. Y'all are just popping out puppies, litters after litters after litters after litters every fucking day. I got this one for sale. I got that one for sale. Please contact me. I can work out a deal with this and I can work out a deal with that. And I Stop the bullshit, cuz. If you can't take care of your fucking puppies, you got a problem, man. If you're breeding and you don't at least have five puppies sold before the breeding is already done, you don't need to be fucking breeding. Like I said, this is this is a rant, and the bullshit got to stop, man. They're passing these laws that are not even prey, because a lot of American pit bull terrier enthusiasts, they're very low-key people, such as myself. It, it, it's, it's not something... We're, we're always been just keeping the breed alive. We don't have the issues that a lot of y'all fucking have. We never was producing fucked-up dogs and, and all this other shit. We bred clean dogs... A lot of most of the American pit bull t terrier community were registered with registry companies. A lot of the shit we were preserving, but the shit y'all doing is, is mind boggling to me, man. And like I said, I hate to see other breeds suffer because the negligence of a community. I, I know a lot of people breeding bullies, more power to them. You know, if they're breeding clean dogs and they're doing ethical breedings and ethical business. By all means, man, I tip my hat to y'all, but a lot of y'all ain't being ethical. A lot of you guys are being fucking scumbags and trying to put other people down in the midst of being fucking scumbags. All right. Uh, slow down with the fucking breeding. They're passing laws behind your shelter puppies. Your shelter puppies. I can guarantee you if you do a kennel walk through any of these shelters... You're going to see a ton of bullies. A ton of them. Slow the fuck down, man. I mean, this is a rant that needs to be said. A lot of y'all are just, y'all are living in a dream where y'all think, oh, I can just breed and I'm going to make tens of thousands of dollars and 
I don't have to work anymore and it doesn't work like that. I poured my life into this shit and I still got a job, own businesses. I still got to do that because these dogs can never support a life in the United States of America unless you're slapping dogs' heads off. And then we'll go back to the basic criteria. Y'all ain't even producing healthy fucking animals, man. Y'all are not producing healthy fucking animals, man. Y'all are still having these debates and conversations about producing healthy animals. Y'all fucking with cosmetic breeds. Y'all pouring a bunch of bullshit into these damn dogs. Mastiff and all this other shit. And then when these dogs, because you added man stopping shit into it. When one of these dogs grab a kid or grab somebody. The fucking Fox 5 News is there. And the first thing they waiting to say is, oh, a pit bull attacked somebody. They don't say, oh, some fucked up American bully breeder who's crossing man stopping dogs into these group of dogs produce these animals. That takes too much time. It's easier just to say pit bulls are destroying the world. Y'all motherfuckers got to stop, man. It ain't no umbrella. It ain't no me and you. It's none of that. It's American pit bull terriers and everything else. Okay? Real American pit bull terriers ain't out here doing this crazy shit and, and all this mass productions. You don't see these dogs, a ton of these dogs in the shelter. You see these fucked up cosmetic breeds that y'all put together and then assumed y'all was going to get a bunch of money, and when the puppies don't sell, they're sitting in the fucking shelter. How much more do you guys need to understand? They've already banned American Pit Bull Terriers on planes. They are banning the wrong fucking breed. So all you ASPCA people who watch my channel, look at those fucking channels. Look at how many litters of puppies they're fucking producing. Evaluate their situation. And make those bills accurate to who it needs to be accurate, aimed at. Because it, it ain't American Pit Bull Terrier breeders, enthusiasts, and so ever, and owners. It's, it's this American bully bullshit. It, it's got to stop. If y'all care anything about y'all breed, y'all will slow down with these fucking breedings. And if you got to do a bunch of breeds, make sure you're, you're at least selling these fucking dogs to people who have enough income and stability to take care of them for their lifespan. Which sometimes isn't that long anyway. They, they're dying at five and six. ASPCA work is... You guys work with dogs. Y'all guys got to get a fucking mindset. And a, a, a real visual reality of what breeds... Certain breeds of dogs are. And stop. If it's Merrill Blue, it's not an American Pit Bull Terrier. Alright? We're not talking about when they was crossing dogs back in the day. And they got one popped up gray or whatever. Because somebody was crossing this into that. No, we're talking about the actual facts. Ain't no real breeders out here of American Pit Bull Terriers breeding Merle fucking dogs. If there is, I wouldn't buy one. And everybody else would stand back and laugh and say, what the fuck you got going on there, bro? But this is a rant. And it, I think it really needed to be said. Because they, they're fucking trying to pass a bunch of crazy laws against this and now they're talking about if you don't get your dog sterilized if the law passes but for them to even build up to try to pass a law like that lets you know what their mindset is at and you can't knock them because they're sitting there with shelters full of your fucking dogs shelters full of your fucking animals so they're talking five hundred dollar fines misdemeanors if your dog ain't sterilized or registered with a registered uh, registered through an actual registry company with your dogs. They're about to change the game up on y'all. And I said this shit years ago, and everybody sat back and laughed at me. And I said, how long you think these motherfuckers could be out here peddling dogs and peddling dogs and peddling dogs and doing all kind of experimental breedings? Where do you think all these dogs end up at? Y'all all laugh, but now it's coming to fruition. That now they're cracking down on the wrong breed of dog. Not y'all motherfuckers. Y'all still slip through the cracks. But they're now they're cracking down on American Pit Bull Terriers behind the fuckery y'all doing, man. I mean, breeding is a, a, a art, a logic, mathematics. Everybody ain't cut out to be a breeder. And when y'all take that essence of it out, the game, and it becomes in to less who can create the newest fucking freak show. What happens to all the ones that didn't make the cut? What happened to all the ones that weren't freaky enough to get five and eight ten thousand dollars for it what happens to all these freaks that didn't make it they're in the fucking shelter and they're photographing them and they're they're trying to make laws and they're, they're gonna succeed on a lot of it i'm telling y'all that now they're gonna succeed 
Let me see if there's anything else I want to get off in this rant. We covered the pedaling. We covered the ASPCA. We covered the bills. It was something else that I can't quite fucking touch on. I think I'm going to conclude that rant, this rant. But a lot of y'all go, a lot, I know a lot of people aren't going to do it. But y'all guys, keep an eye on some of these, these bills and stuff that they're trying to pass regarding dogs. And stand up for what's right. And stand up for clean, working, true working dogs that have a purpose. I, I, I mean, like I said, I had a lot of the bully people come after me behind the first video I made like this. They're going to kill me and my dogs. My dogs are still here and I'm still here. So... They, they, they don't come after the messenger. Come after your community and clean up what your community is doing because your community is getting out of control. This, this large amount of unnecessary breeding. I keep most of my puppies. And the puppies I do sell are already sold before they're born. I, I have a program based on lineage, so I have to produce dogs, raise those dogs to full maturity to implicate them in a breeding pro in my breeding program. That's why you never hear me up here saying I got a bloodline because it takes a lifetime to make a bloodline. It's not just a couple of generations or whatever they say on paper. It takes a legitimate lifetime. So you don't hear me screaming that shit. But I mean, some of you guys got seven generations. Hey, y'all two cut it out. Some of y'all got several generations in three years and four years. Y'all were breeding puppies. I mean... Clean up what the fuck y'all got going on. Because like I said, it, it, I'm about to draw a line in the sand with a lot of y'all unethical bully breeders, man. Y'all are fucking up other breeds now. Like I said, it was all fun and games when y'all was fucking y'all shit up. But don't don't, don't pull other breeds into it. And we're going to start seeing a lot more videos like this coming from me. Because it, it's not fucking fair. It ain't fair at all. For, some, for us... A lot of our community, we, we got fucked up people in our community too, so it ain't even an issue of it. We're just clean and sparkly people. We got a lot of bullshit we got to clean up on our end of the fence. But as far as what y'all doing on y'all side of the fence, oh, Lord, y'all motherfuckers, everybody need to be working in maintenance on y'all team. We just got a couple of clowns on our side that we got to clear up and, and get clean dogs and get registered criteria correct because other other upper elite breeders they don't they don't have these fucking conversations they're not having them i'm telling y'all that they're not having these fucking conversations man we the only ones out here having these stupid ass conversations about if papers matter and all this up go to go to the akc and, and go to them the real people who sell 25 30 thousand dollar dogs on the consistent level they don't talk like how a lot of the bullshit you hear us talking about man so get your fucking shit together, man. It's 2019. They're cracking down. And you heard it first from Thompson's Kennels. Because everybody going to sit here and talk about bullshit. But they ain't going to talk about the real shit. Y'all have a blessed one.